Hey Siri, turn on back garden lights. Okay, the back garden lights is on. Hey Siri, turn on front garden lights. Okay, the front garden lights is on. Hey Siri, turn on side garden lights. Okay, the side garden lights is on. If you like just what you see, follow along and let's get at it. Cheers. All right, things you'll need. First of all, beer. You'll need a transformer, any old transformer, um, to get the voltage from 120 plug down to 12 volts AC for your lights. You'll need some wire. I used 14.2. Uh, you can try to use 12.2 if you want, but I don't think you need it. 14.2 seems to be really easier to work with. When you want to, if you want to know the difference between 14 and 12, it's the gauge. The smaller the number, the thicker the wire. So 14 is basically like the shit they use in your in your house walls and stuff like that. But they use 12 as well. So you need wire. You need lights. You need a phone. And you need an eye device. And I use these outdoor switches and I have three of them roaming around my house right now. And this is the brains to get you to Siri connectivity. So you need one of these. And that's basically it. So the phone's gonna talk to this thing and then this thing's gonna turn this thing on. Now I bought this one, it's the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. Um, hold on, let me rip it out here. The thing I don't like about it, but it doesn't really matter, is it's digital. It's got a digital screen. I like the analog ones where it's just kind of like old school buttons and knobs. But this one seems to work. It's just got a digital screen. Now you can program your lights with just this thing, but you'll have no connectivity with Siri. So this is where this thing comes into play. Uh, and then this turns it into a, basically a smart device, right? 35 bucks, 55 bucks. Let me just show you something. Uh, you don't need to buy, like I said, you can use your existing existing transformer that you have. Like, so for example, on this side of my house, I have this old ancient fucking painted at this point transformer. And this was, the lights were already set up, but uh, all I did was just throw this thing onto it, into the middle, plugged my old ancient transformer, and now it's a smart device. Hey Siri, turn on front garden lights. Okay, the front garden lights is on. Hey Siri, turn off front garden lights. Okay. There you front go. Front garden lights is off. So the first thing you want to do with this setup is figure out where your transformer is going to be. So I'm going to be lighting up these palms here in this little garden area. So my transformer is going to end up being probably here because that's where I can get power. It's basically my only choice. Uh, the big question is, are you going to have your Wi-Fi co connectivity all the way from wherever your router is, right? So, I mean, I'm in the furthest part of my house right now, so it's a little sketchy when it comes to the Wi-Fi, but the easiest way to do anything is do a, do a test, your Wi-Fi test, to see if you actually got some Wi-Fi. So I'm rocking 43, 45 megabits per second. So I'm good. Okay, that's good. Time to set this thing up. Okay, setup's complete. This is how it looks. Power to smart device, eye device, and then this thing's mounted to the wall here with screws. I didn't want to get into the details, but then the power plug from this goes into the smart device. And then the 12-2, or sorry, 14-2 garden cable travels all the way around here, goes right there, and I cut a trench using this little shovel, garden shovel, whatever the hell it's called. And it goes all the way through here. I got my first light. This is up buried under all this mulch. And then I got my second light. So that's the basic setup. Now it's time to program this thing. One thing I do want to mention is uh, this iDevices outdoor switch is compatible with HomeKit, which is Siri, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, IFTTT as well, which is basically a full platform of automation, quote unquote, house home automation. Anyways, um, I'm currently using, I'm trying to stick with iPhone and the whole Siri setup, but I really, I have my struggles with it. 
and uh, it's got its issues. I'm more than likely gonna try to switch to Google Assistant at some point, but right now I am using Siri and Apple HomeKit, uh, but it has its pains. Subscribe to my channel, I'll get to those at some point, but anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Put that down. All right, we got our eye device here. We're gonna plug it into the wall. Pretty straight. The best part about the Siri or HomeKit system is it's extremely easy to set up. Now, um, we're gonna go into the Home app, HomeKit app, and then we're gonna add a device. I'm gonna, you can do, so if you, I don't know if you have this set up or not, but you can do rooms, so I have an outdoor room, but I also have my quote unquote main, which has a bunch of stuff in it. Um, so I'm gonna go to add accessory, and it's gonna put this little camera jobby. So there's, on these devices that are compatible with uh, HomeKit, there's usually some sort of code or like barcode on the background or a, a numerical code like it just picked up right now. And it takes a picture of it automatically for you and it literally just found this thing in like a split second. So I'm gonna click on that, add accessory to network, allow. Connecting to accessory, give it a second to figure itself out. And this part's like, this again, HomeKit does this really well, whereas some of the other ones are a little bit more steps involved, but. So it's gonna say, where do I wanna put it? I have an out, outside, or quote unquote room. I'm gonna go there, blah, 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 continue. Blah, 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 choose how this switch will appear. I'm just gonna say switch, continue. Switch automation. So I have a bunch of automations set up here in my uh, main screen. And um, I'm gonna, the automations are a separate thing you have to kind of go through, but this kind of already figured out which automation I'm probably gonna put it into because all my outdoor stuff kind of has the same settings. So the way my lights work right now is they turn on at sunset. So anytime when the sun goes down, Siri, quote unquote, knows when the sunset is, right? So all my lights for my outdoors to turn on on sunset. So I'm gonna put it into the sunset automation. I also have an automation that says turn them off on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at midnight. So I'm gonna turn that automation on. And then the final automation that I have uh, on Friday and Saturday, which are usually I'm up late and you know we're getting back from friends and family and bars and COVID spreading parties. Um, on Friday and Saturday, they turn off at 2 a.m. So I'm gonna turn that one on. I'm gonna press continue and we're done. It was as simple as that. So now the only thing I didn't, I, I skipped through this. I should have named it, but uh, let's find this outdoor switch. And I just turned it on. It turned on right there. And did my lights turn on? Yes, they did. We got light. So. That's how to check it that way, but I am gonna rename it. I'm gonna figure out how to rename it here. So you can rename this. Uh, I should have did that a little bit earlier, but I can do it right now. So side lights, done. So now they're called side lights, okay? So now I can go back to whatever my home screen or however that works on a freaking iPhone. Apparently I can't figure that out. There we go. Hey Siri, turn on side lights. Okay, the side lights is on. Hey Siri, turn off side lights. Okay, the side lights is off. Simple as that. Really briefly without getting too much detail and to be honest with you, if you made it this far into the video, please do me a favor and give me a fucking like and a subscribe. I'm gonna get into this stuff a little bit more detailed down the road. Uh, I have a lot of automation going on in my house, quote unquote, uh, quote unquote home automation. I, I'm not a fan of Siri, and I'll get into that at some point. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna describe exactly kind of how, if you're new to this whole home automation stuff, what you need to do. First of all, you need at least an iPad, a newer iPad to be your home hub, okay? a home hub. I, I know you've been watching me on my phone doing this stuff, but the reality is you can't do it off of a phone. You need a home hub to make sure that there's a stationary quote unquote dock and it controls your whole house. So I mean, when I have my home phone, I can be in like fucking France 
or wherever and I can control my home, but there needs to be a home dock and this is where my home dock currently is, which is an iPad, right? Um, so my home app, okay? So it's got all your devices. You got a basically a little home area. You got a rooms where you can kind of uh, change around the rooms. I have a walk-in closet set up. And then you got your automations, right? So a lot of my outdoor stuff's on automation. Uh, and with regards to the automations, I'm just gonna do a little brief, I give you an idea of how this works is, you can basically set ifs and thens, okay? So let's for example say, if the sun goes down, then the lights go on. This is basically how my entire outdoor setup works. I know you've been seeing me say, hey Siri, quote unquote, shut the fuck up, holy it doesn't do anything, didn't do anything. Uh, hey, turn on the lights, right? But the reality is I don't say that all the time. What I do is I turn it into automations and basically you have five, at this moment in time, you have five categories to pick from. Uh, for example, um, when you arrive, when people leave, a time of day occurs. And that's where I get into the uh, automation with regards to the lights outside, when a time of day occurs. So for example, um, I'm just gonna click on this. And um, what happens is, for example, my lights go on at sunset, right? So I can create an automation. It goes on at sunset. I can set the days of the sunset, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, probably what you wanna do, which is what I have. And then I can pick what, what sensors, or sorry, what um, devices I have in my house that go on at sunset. For example, I have all my outside stuff here, right? So I have my back garden lights, my front garden lights, and my side garden lights, which we just did in this video, right? So I can add all basically. And what that means is on sunset, as soon as the sunset hits, and you can give it, give or take, you know, 15 minutes if you need to, um, they will automatically turn on. And that's what mine do. So as soon as sunset hits, all my lights back, front, side, go on, okay? So that's one automation, okay? And then um, how do you turn them off? I have another automation that turns them off depending on the day of the week. For example, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I want them off at midnight. I'm usually in bed at this point. There's no point in having the lights on, right? So all those lights turn off at midnight, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I have another automation up here, which is Friday and Saturday, that turns them off at 2 a.m. So sunset on, Friday, Saturday, 2 a.m. off. That's as simple as it gets. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to program, whether you're using HomeKit, Google, or whatever, Alexa, blah, 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 and so on. Um, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you, Siri makes it, or HomeKit makes it extremely easy to hook up, but there are some problems when it comes to communication that are driving me crazy, and I'll get into that at some other video. So yes, please subscribe, like, I love you. Let's get the fuck at it. Cheers.